Same question. Does this have an optical isomer? And uh, see if you can figure it out. So is there a mirror image? Are there optical isomers? Why don't you draw this down? Draw this on the paper. Draw the mirror plane or the mirror line and draw the mirror image first. So that's the first step. Draw the line, the mirror, and then draw the mirror image. Uh, sometimes you can uh, do it in your mind and that's totally fine. Uh, when you're ready, you can look up and see if you got the same mirror image uh, as I did. Uh, then you want to ask yourself, is it superimposable? Well, if you rotate this around in space, uh, you're going to find that it is impossible to get those two the same. Um, there's nothing much here. It's just an arrow. So. <laughs> They're just the same. Uh, so when you spin it around, you're going to find that these two are optical isomers. They're optical isomers. Uh, another way you could have Figure that out. If you can't visualize it, it's FAC. They're FAC, and the other three ligands are different than A. There's a B, a C, and a D. Because of that, it's going to be chiral. So yes, this has, uh, uh, yes, they're optical isomers. Yes, each one of these are chiral. Yes, they're enantiomers. All that, yes. OK. Let's try another one. Oh my gosh, you can kind of see the answer there. Okay, there we go. See if you can draw this, draw the mirror of this one. So you want to draw the opposite of it. What I'm going to do is try to make a little model of it so you can see what it might look like. Uh, I'll do my best here to come up with enough colors, but I'll try, try to make a model of this thing. Uh, and while I'm doing that, you figure out if you think this is going to have optical isomers or not. <coughs> so I'll give you a little time to do that while I'm messing around here. You want to find out, does this have a mirror image? You all, it would have a mirror image, but is this mirror image identical or different? Okay, I've got it made. If you want to see what the mirror image is, look up now. Take a look at that. Uh, so there's the mirror image. And now you want to find out, is this thing uh, chiral or not? Well. Let's turn off the lights and take a look at these models and, and see what it looks like. So I made two models of this. Here we go. There they are. We've got two black ligands here, a white ligand on top and bottom, and then the blue ligands are facing each other. And you want to say, can I rotate this in space? to make it identical. Well, if you do this, you'll see a 180 degree turn will make them all line up. So these are not chiral. They are not enantiomers. They are not optical isomers. Anybody have a guess of what we would call them? They are identical. <laughs> they are the same. So they're the same thing. They're identical. They're not optical isomers, not chiral. So if you spin them around, in this case, uh, you can just move this over the way this one's drawn. Just move it over to the right. You'll see they're totally identical. So there is no optical isomer. So far, any questions? Okay. Let's try another one. Uh, and then we'll take a little break. <coughs> Oh, and on the previous one, uh, the little trick on that one is the A atoms 
we're trans. When you get those A atoms as trans, it's not going to happen. So trans, whenever you have a trans anywhere in there, uh, it's not going to be chiral. Okay. Uh, so draw the mirror image of this. I'm going to construct something that looks like it, if I can. Uh, let's see if I can do this. Okay. And uh, you do your best to draw the mirror image and figure it out for yourself. Uh, when you're ready, you can look up and you can see if you got the same thing as I did. Uh, well, I turn off the lights and get ready for us to do uh, look at the model set. So again, you want to find out, do these have optical isomers or not? Okay, well, I drew the Bs are the black ligands, the Cs are the white, and then you got a blue A on top. So they're these, uh, like this. Here's how it's drawn on the page. Okay. So are these the same? Well, if you just spin it around a little bit, you'll see, yeah, they're totally identical. Everything lines up totally identical. These are the same, identical. Okay. So no, uh, they're not optical isomers. They're not chiral. And uh, they're not in antimers of each other. They will not rotate light, uh, anything like that. Yeah? Do you have to rotate it 180 degrees or can you rotate it any amount? The question is, do you have to rotate 180 or can you do whatever? You can do whatever, as long as you don't break a bond. You can do whatever you want to make them line up. OK, is this one, are the C's cis trans or the C's are trans. How about the B's? They're mer. There's three B's, they're mer. Well, both trans and mer are, are going to get you a no here. So if you look for that little uh, thing, uh, that can sometimes be helpful. All right, let's take a little break.